Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marque of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Living Streams International, we meet behind the trade fair behind Zenith College at the Life Cathedral in the Zoe Chapel. I have been talking about acts of restoration. That is um, what you do, I mean, uh, for the restoration of trust. When trust is betrayed, the things you need to do in order to restore trust that was betrayed. You know, sometimes people walk with the feeling that, well, if you've forgiven me, you have to trust me. There are two different things. Forgiveness is instantaneous, but trust is earned by a series of things that you need to do. And last time, I was breaking down some of the things you need to do because of a question that was asked um, by someone to me. And I began to uh, list some of the things. Now, we are now getting to uh, the final part of uh, the restoration of trust, or nuggets for the restoration of trust. And I said, the next one is that um, you, you have to engage a time-related time series of actions that will be taken by the betrayer time-related series of actions that will be taken by the, by the traitor to end the trust of the betrayed. That means it's not just a one-day thing. No, there, there's going to be a time-related series of things that you have to do that will make, and it, is, it, mu it must be a conscious effort of yours you have to, to, to allay the fears of the person and to, to end the trust of the person. So there are a series of actions you need to do. We are, it's not a command, but it is in your interest. If you want trust to be restored, if you want trust to be reposed, if you want trust to be earned, there are a series of actions you need to take within periods of time. Again, not just a one-day thing. It's not just a snap of the finger, but there are things you need to do in order for trust to be uh, reposed back. Now, the next thing is that you have to have a non-forceful attitude, a non-forceful attitude, you know, um, uh, on the path of, 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 of uh, a non-forceful attitude by the traitor. You shouldn't force the, the person who was betrayed, trust me, trust me, you know, and be that person. If you don't trust me, then you have no forgiving. You have to trust me, you have to trust me. No. Uh, where, where is it by force? No. No. And a big no. It should be a non-forceful attitude. You, you, you have to be understanding. You, you have to give that person time because that person is, is not sure. Because that person uh, doesn't know anymore. Because that person, something has happened that has, that has crushed the relationship. Something has happened that has, that has undermined trust. So you don't force the person and get offended or get, get angry with the person if that person cannot give you the trust you are demanding, you know, I, I, you, I don't, you don't have to force me to trust you. Ah, I mean, we uh, 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 say by force. It's not by force. No. Mind you, trust was betrayed by an act of yours. Trust was betrayed by an act of yours. And therefore, trust is earned, not just by an act of yours, but by a series of actions of yours. So, and you don't have to force the person. You don't have to impose it upon the person. Trust me, you, you have to trust me again. No, and no, and no. Now, when you do that rather, you would force the person rather, but, and the person may say, okay, 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 okay. But the person will have apprehensions. The person will have fears. The person will have insecurities. The person will be wondering, hey, can I trust this person again? After all this. So there are a series of things you need to do. And there are a series of actions you must take. And then also to remember, it is not 
by force. You, you don't have to force trust. You don't have to impose your argument that trust me. No. Earn my trust by the things that you do. And then the last one is that you have to have an understanding. By the, there has to be an understanding by the traitor that basically he or she has no rights of trust uh, with a betrayed. That means trust is not your right. That it is my right to be trusted. It is not your right. Who said so? You have to understand that you, you, don't, you, you, you have no right to demand trust. It is, trust is something that is a, an, an act of love or an act of uh, mercy, or an act of grace to be given back to you. You can't demand it. You can't demand it. And, 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 and you see, you, you have to un have that understand that you don't have a right. I mean, you don't have a right for me to trust you. For what? You don't have that right. Remember, the prodigal son, when he went, when he was going away, he was demanding his rights. It's my right as a son to take away my inheritance. It is my right. That was how he left the house. But you know what? In coming back, he asked his father to make him. When he was going, he said, I am. But when he was coming back, he said to his father, you make me what you want out of me. I'm not making any demand. I am not demanding sonship anymore. I'm demanding a higher servant. That is how he came in. So you have to understand that trust is not your right. Trust must be earned. And if it is not given to you, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be offended. It should move beyond offense, you know, and understand that it will take time. So it is time related. Trust can be restored, but trust is restored by these things you do. Restoration of trust is important. See you later.